Welcome to electricbikereport.com Here we're going to be reviewing the uh, Nano Electric Assist System from the UK uh, This is a very neat, lightweight little motor system uh, Now normally it's attached to the famous Brompton folding bikes also from the UK uh, but Here it's on a Molten, a Molten space frame design Molten's Originally, just to give you a bit of background about the bike, in case you haven't heard of Moulton's, they uh, were designed in the 60s by a uh, famous designer, Alex Moulton, who also happened to do uh, the rubber suspension on the famous uh, mini car at that time. And the bike retains elastoma suspension and uh, its hallmarks of a, a very rigid frame and rigid, fast, small wheels, uh, 20 inch wheels in this case. So don't be put off by the small wheels on this particular design. They have a reputation of being uh, very, very well engineered bikes, very sturdy um, and extremely practical at the same time. You can buy accessories to fit racks front and rear. So they're, a, they're an everyday bike, a touring bike, uh, but also a bike for somebody who likes riding fast. Here's the Nano Motor itself. Um, it's actually a friction drive, so it is a, a, a brushless motor But it doesn't have gear teeth. It has a, a, a clever uh, System that depends on rollers pressing on the uh, outside of the hub shell uh, And it's only about two kilos and it's uh, I think 80 millimeters wide so for bikes with small dropouts in the front forks like Brompton it can be fitted quite easily without too much adaption and also as you can see it fits quite easily into the front forks here of the Moulton. That's the Nano motor itself. Coming to the battery that powers the uh, Nano electric assist system it's hidden in this uh, frame mounted waterproof art lead bag which is adapted by Nano themselves You'll see down here, it has a, a waterproof connector called an Anderson connector. So to take the battery off the system, it's a simple matter just to unplug that connector. Use the quick release click fix fixing to take the bag off. And then you can then take that inside for charging and for safekeeping. The battery itself in the bag uh, is mounted on Nano's own controller, uh, it's not the controller, it's their uh, adaptive electronics which allows the battery to power the system. The controller itself is back down on the frame, uh, just discreetly hidden away on the head tube there. But back to the battery, if you want to take it off for charging, it's a simple matter just to slide it off the adapter and then it's 36 volt 4 amp hour battery giving you 144 watt hours of power simply slides onto the uh, this fairly small Bosch charger uh, thus and it takes around about an hour to charge so that's the Bosch power tool battery uh, several advantages to this setup really. These are widely available, very well made uh, and quite power dense lithium ion batteries. So uh, really they have several advantages over bespoke e-bike batteries. That's the Bosch 36 volt battery used to power this nano system. And taking a look at the uh, power control on your handlebars. Uh, this is a simple on off button. Uh, so once it's pressed you get full lights and you're ready to go. Click it again, blinking lights and the system is turned off. This model is a thumb control throttle as you can see but uh, you also have the option of a, of a twist grip uh, if you choose uh, but you have to specify that at the time uh, you order, so you either have a twist grip or a thumb throttle. There's also the possibility of uh, doing away with any handlebar controls and having a pure pedelec option, 
which just relies on a, a motion sensor. This is the UK spec, so there is no twist and go uh, control with it. So the pedals will need to be turning to activate the throttle, whichever choice of throttle it is. And there are also uh, cutout controls on the brake levers, as you can see here. So as soon as the brake lever is activated, that will cut out any run on on the motor, and that's just uh, an additional safety feature. Here's a little more detail about the Molten space frame itself. As you can see, it's a a lattice, um, a lattice of very small gauge steel tubing very beautifully constructed to produce an extremely rigid frame that's uh, molten says in fact more rigid than the classic diamond frame but at the same time um, it allows a unisex step through design as you can see it's also demountable uh, in that the frame splits in two the cable splitters here simply unscrew. Uh, there's an Allen key bolt to undo here, about this uh, axle through the frame here, and a screw fitting here, which will then allow you to split the bike in two for easier storage and transport. That's the molten space frame, uh, fitted with the nano electric assist system from the UK. For more details, photos um, and ride impressions, check out the full report at electricbikereport.com.